What's up with it, bitch? This your boy, eat that pussy 445, nigga, and we back up in this bitch. What is going on? So we are back, and guess what? We are at 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support, everybody tuning into the videos and just staying in touch with everything and you know all the support I get on all social media. With all the support, I'm gonna give something back to you all. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Obviously, it's gonna be some RGB rock lights. Um, there's, it's really simple, uh, on how to enter. Uh, so just leave a comment down on this video. Um, and then next Saturday I will be going live on YouTube and I will be giving away the rock lights. I'll just do a random shuffle. Um, I might get like an app where I can put in data and then just shuffle it, but I will be, uh, giving it away on live next Saturday. Um, and then I'll pay for the shipping and everything, get it sent to you 100%, no issues, no worries. But um, yeah, man, uh, it's crazy because a year ago, man, I was at 137 subscribers and I was trying to figure out how the fuck I was going to ever get to a thousand or even higher. And uh, <clears throat> without all the support from you guys and uh, me just staying consistent, uh, I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, and there's gonna be some big shit coming but let's go outside and uh let's check on the duramax i'm gonna show you kind of what's done to it now uh what i changed up what's different and uh i'm doing the headliner again yep i'm doing the fucking headliner again why because i kind of thinking about the color scheme that i'm going to be going with as far as the paint and the flakes uh i don't want a black headliner and the Fabric I got off of eBay wasn't really that good. Without further ado, man, like I said, I appreciate you guys for a thousand subscribers. Let's get to the fucking video. Let's show you what we're doing today. And shit. I'm happy, nigga. Let's go. All right, so sorry for the fly ribbon. Flies are bad as fuck out here in Kansas. I don't know why. But uh, here's the mess I made yesterday. So here is kind of the way the headliner is looking right now. It's kind of like a... It looks like a like a shag type suede, but this is really how it looks right now. I got to kind of heat it up a little bit, get some of the wrinkles out. I let it sit overnight. Um, I laid some staples down just to hold it, um, and I can just pull them right back out with a pick. Um, I just wanted to have the staples push down in it so that way it doesn't lift overnight while it was drying. So, taking this shit down again, it was 10 times easier this time because I already knew what to do, so wasn't a big deal um i'm gonna wrap this because i ended up fucking burning this i was burning the air freshener and the fucking cigarette tray got fucking hot and it toasted it so i'm gonna sand this down with a dremel and then just wrap it over with this shit i got a lot of it left i actually did three this time here is the flake shout out the tropical glitz so i got the flake from them um and it shipped pretty quick this is just a four ounce um, I just wanted to see a test sample. This is probably what I'm going to use with the powder coat on my lift. Um, and I will be going with a um, 7 to 9 show off lift. So, yeah, about to spend some bread on that. So, here is the nasty flake right here, man. This is the Platinum Plus Flake. This shit is nasty, man. And I think I want to use this same flake in the white paint. Um, but I'm not sure. It really just depends. But I'm definitely going to use this flake. Um, yeah, this shit is crazy, man. Tropical Glitz, go check them out. They probably have the best flake on the market right now, in my opinion. And here is my Diablo Sport T1000 tuner. These are discontinued. I got it off a dude for like 20 bucks. Um, he didn't have the uh adapter to go into the obd2 so he didn't know what he had obviously i already checked it hooked it up to computers not registered not locked or anything um and it has everything that i need to tune this truck this truck already has efi live with the five tunes preloaded um but 
I like I said, the tunes are off in my opinion because uh, when I put it in the fifth tune, it's supposed to add 220 horsepower, and I don't know how I don't know how much torque, but um, yeah, it, it it just seems off. Here's one of the things I did. Um, fuck off my shit. Got one of the North Carolina flags on the front just to let these fuckers know where I'm from. Here's the setup I got. Moto Metals. They're 20 by 12s uh, with some open countries on them. Uh, they're not too bad in condition uh, compared to the last wheels I had. And uh, it kind of pokes a little bit. So, I don't know. I kind of like it, how it's set up. Um, I did get into a truck club, Ice Tray Mafia. That's the gang now. Um, cool dudes. I had a lot of choices, but man, uh, I really like the vibe of these guys. So, gonna be rolling with them, um, especially for Myrtle Beach Nationals and shit. That's gonna be pretty cool uh, to have a family to roll out with and with my homie too, Fat Boy Bands. But I um, also got my Instagram right here. Just follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost at 2K, so shit get me up there and here are the prototype stickers that I'm gonna be doing so these are backyard built um, stickers these will be uh, channel merch um, so let me know if you guys would like to purchase any stickers I can get orders made and uh, if I can get enough people like interested in wanting the backyard built stickers um, you know I'll get some big orders like I said and uh, we'll get them shipped out to you probably sell them for like a couple bucks Nothing too major. I ain't trying to make fucking money off this shit, man. But, uh, let's go ahead and get in here. So, hold on. Uh, there we go. So, here is the new headliner. Everything lined up and sat a little better. Um, still got some staples in here, just holding it right now so the adhesive can kind of stick during the heat. Uh, because it's been pretty hot here. So, I just want to make sure that. Um, it doesn't fall or sag any But uh, yeah, this is kind of where it's at right now. That's pretty much all I've done to it um, Since you guys have last seen it uh, Last time you guys saw it it was uh, on the 20 by 10s and didn't have all the stickers and all this extra shit on it Really haven't been trying to do too much because I've been trying to gear up to get out of here um, And the less shit I have to take home the better um, so that's pretty much my reasoning behind not doing anything right now with it. I got some things on the way. Um, I do have the cluster uh, lights. Um, I have them in purple that I'm gonna be replacing. I'll show you guys the process on that. Um, whenever I do get the cord for the tuner Monday, I will be making a video um, just showing me setting it up and everything. Just a little content for you guys until basically I get home because this will kind of be a little slow for now until I get back because um, like I said I'm gonna be moving in a couple weeks and uh, I gotta focus on that right now just getting home and uh, knocking shit out but yeah man she's she's looking good dude just how she's sitting right now with the new setup um, you know I like it and I still got the four the and I still got the 26s and the uh, tires uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys the tires I know that happened a little while ago, but I'll go inside and show you guys real quick. So this is my little storage room, so don't mind the mess in here, but here are the tires I got, 37, 13 and a half, 26s. Um, these are gonna go on the RBPs that I have here. So really just gonna save them in here. I tried to get them mounted while I was here in Kansas, but nobody, I guess fucking has the balls to mount tires here so but yeah man this is this is her right now this is gonna be the final form for now until I get my lift um, it's only a matter of time before I get everything ready to go and going for it so like I said man just keep keep posted and keep watching man there's gonna be more shit coming soon um, I got a couple things on the way like I said and uh, those will be going in uh, this week, so I'll make a little short video about that, and that'll be probably some of the last content until I get back, which when I get home, there's going to be shit ton more content. Um, I'll have truck meets go to, you know, I'll be starting to build on Duramax and getting it painted, 
getting the lift on, getting the wheels mounted, all that shit, and then I'll be back around the homies. So it'll be just, it'll be more than just me uh, in the videos, and you know, it'll be a, a lot more shit going on. I know the videos now are kind of, you know, just installation based, showing you guys what I have and the progress of what's going on. But like I said, I'm doing what I can, and I appreciate the 1K just based off of what I've been doing with the truck and you know my build so far. So. Hey, I can't fucking complain. But yeah, keep running up the videos, man. And I got a question. I got a question. Should I, can I swap the front end or should I just keep it with the round body front end? I kind of like the round body front end because not a lot of people have it. Everybody has a fucking cat eye front end um, for their Duramaxes. So I kind of would like to keep this. Um, I do want to replace the headlights. And I might sell these and just get the ones that have the LED in it. Um, but, you know, that'll be coming with time. And also, I'm not sure about the fucking tow mirrors. I don't like how they're kind of angled like this. And I'm not a fan of the new body ones. So I might go with the regular 1500 mirrors. Uh, just because I'm not really going to be towing with this. I'm going to have a roll pan on it. And then I have to get the roll pan hitch. Um, so I really don't plan on towing with this. I mean, I got the other truck that I could definitely tow shit with. So... It's not that big of a deal right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep those any, anyways though if I do decide to switch over to the regular Silverado mirrors um, and just use them for whenever I do end up towing with it. Um, but yeah, man, uh, that's pretty much all I got for right now, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. Like I said, I appreciate the 1K. Uh, the giveaway will be next Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure what time, um, but the video that I put out this week, I'll definitely let it out the time. But on this video right here, leave a comment down below if you want to enter to win the Rock Lights. Um, I will be announcing the winner next Saturday, and then I will be in contact with the winner to let you know when everything is going to come in, when it's going to ship, all of that shit. So, um, like I said, man, appreciate you guys. Follow me on Instagram, like, share, subscribe, all of that shit. And you'll be seeing more of this be soon, I'm telling you. So, it's going to be a nice one. But, like I said, man, check you guys out. And, uh... Who knows? Some big shit might be coming soon.